Okay, we're going to actually show you how to how to sling. We've got a actually a box all manied up right here. Again, this could be a bale of hay or it could be a duffel load or or that sort of thing. But uh, if you haven't seen it, we already have put up a video on the, this site that actually shows you how to manny a load up. And you can go back and review that after you watch this then. But anyway, the first thing, when we approach our saddle, we've got it all on there, and we've got it adjusted and all that. But when you're getting ready to saddle, and I know this from thousands and thousands of students that have taught over the years is, and, and employees, but tighten your cinch before you put anything on the load. There's nothing like having a perfect load that's put up, placed on a pack saddle. It's on there it's tight and everything and then you go about 50 yards and it rocks to one side and comes off and then uh, another jackpot is in procession at that point so first thing we're going to do is make sure that our cinch is tight tighten that up make sure you snug it up I snug these cinches a little bit tighter than I do my riding saddle but I ride I, I use my riding saddle is a little bit loose too because I can adjust up there um, and you don't get the chance to adjust this thing later I have had in the past people tighten this up to the point where it takes so they can't take in a breath or take enough of a breath and sometimes you don't know that until you get down the trail a little ways and then he, old Dobbin wants to lay down so uh, the trick to that is if he's doing that, you might have to loosen up your cinch a little bit. Big, big, great big guys that have huge leverage tighten their cinches a little bit too tight generally. But that's another story. So we're going to actually sling it using a basket hitch. We've got a rope that we've got already on the saddle here. This is a Decker saddle, modified Decker. If you got just the rounded hooped, Decker saddles that'll work good but in this whole deal I want to show you a little bit how we put this rope on there it's just on there so that we can take it down real quick and it's already set up for the basket hitch if I pull on this rope here I've got a nice loop that's going to go around the actual load and I've got it fixed to the front hoop here and I've got it in from the back and down through the middle with my end of my rope right here. So I'm gonna set this up before I actually put the load on it like that. I'm gonna just move this rope. I'm always pretty conscious about getting the loop stuck around my leg because that can be another jackpot as that goes. Now, uh, we've got our load right here. I've got my ears on the top that's what's going to go up on the saddle and I'm going to actually put most of the weight and we can talk about actually how to pack those boxes if you're going to do it but most of the weight distribution should be and the balance should be on the side of the horse or mule right here so it's up against this wood bar of your half breed and it's right here you might have some extending down a little bit and a little bit over the top if you get too high and that's kind of a uh, one of those things that new packers do all the time is they want to get it up as high as they can and what happens there is you get your center of balance once you get both sides on is that thing will get to moving like this with every step and it can edge it can start rocking like this and you can know you can kind of figure out what happens then pretty soon it, then it goes over so don't get your balance your center of gravity too high because that'll lose some loads that way so anyway we've got our basket hitch all set up right here and we're going to take and put our load on there our manied load we're going to throw it up here like this it doesn't take a whole lot of strength um, you got to practice it a little bit in order to get good at it, but I'm just going to place this thing up here a little bit higher than where I'm going to actually, it's going to end up. And I'm going to take my loop of my basket hitch and I'm going to put it right up. I try to put it 
you know, where I've, I've got that top strand and I'm going to pull it tight with the end right here from the bottom. I'm just holding that there and you can even actually put your chest if you're short like I am. That's a good thing actually because I can actually tighten that up against the hoops of my saddle. I want that right up against there. Just like that. And I'm rocking it with my shoulders. You guys that are a little taller, you're just going to have your arms underneath there in order to rock it to get it nice and tight. Okay? So I'm, I've got it nice and tight around the front. And then I'm going to go up with this end here. And I'm going to put it over the top, always over the top when we're tying off. And I'm going to pull on this loop right here. And I'm going to put my chest up against there so I've got some leverage and tighten that rope. You see that I'm taking the slack out of there. And I'm going to put a loop through a loop. If you've seen some of my other videos, we use this one to tie off with almost everything we do. Okay. You can lock it right there. Now we're not going to end the video here, but actually if I put this rope up, this should, if it's balanced right, it should ride all day just like this, okay? We do have some workarounds for some loads that aren't working real good or, or uh, uh, that, that will actually help you, and I'll show you that here in a, just a second here, but if we were to put this up, we're going to actually come over here. And I can use this right here and just, I, I just threw a loop through there and I'm just going to continually put this through here so I can use up my slack or the end of the rope. I'm just putting it away in a place that isn't going to get caught on anything as we go up the trail and just throw a, a half hitch around there or two so that it stays. This new rope is kind of slick. It works a little better once it's been used. So I can put my rope around that way. If you want to bring the camera around here, you'll notice something that's happening here. The saddle is actually rocking to this side because we have all the weight on it. And uh, so that, that should tell you something to the fact that you need to, if you're doing it by yourself, you need to be able to do this fairly quickly so you don't pull your saddle over. So you'd be over on the other side doing that side. So it's really a great thing to, if somebody, if you have a pair of people, that they're doing that side and you're doing this side. So you're ready to pack when you start with both of you, with two sides that have been balanced. And then you can measure up between you whether or not this is too high, too low, and that sort of thing. Again, the major portion of this load should be fit right within this portion of the saddle okay in order to balance it shouldn't be any higher than that we can have a little bit up and a little bit down but this is where it should be i always shake my load a little bit before i actually get done just to because that's where it's going to end up when i get down the trail after the horse has taken a few steps we want to go over one extra thing give you another little trick with this piece of rope we have right here that you could do we've got it put away so you can kind of imagine us taking this load off it's going to be pretty easy but um, we're going to do um, a little trick here with this loop it's called a crow's foot Actually, I've, this is just a slip knot, actually, isn't it? So I'm going to pull a big enough loop through here so that it'll go around the bottom of my cargo here and fit through. That's what this second ring is for. Don't ever use it for anything else. The only reason we have that thing is for that reason right there. And you notice it fits around this corner and it fits around this front corner and I'm going to take take the end of the rope here and I'm going to actually 
run this through here. Again, people like to tie down here, but that's right in the way. It can get caught up on things, and I've actually had some pretty good wrecks because of it. Now, I, when you when you pull on this, this is going to get the cinch even tighter. So if you've got it really snugged up like it ought to be, I don't want it any tighter. So I'm just going to going to take the slack out of it. I don't have to just reef on this actually when I pull on it. I just want it nice and snug. And I'm going to run it up if I've got enough rope. And I'm going to come up here and tie it off. Same tie off that we did before. Just a loop over the top. Tie it off here. And then a loop through a loop just like that. All right. Really heavy loads generally don't need to have a crow's foot on there. If it's a little lighter, this might help your pack and it just holds it more secure to the side where it doesn't flop. A bale of hay generally, you know, is going to run you 60 to maybe up to 100 pounds and they're dense enough that they'll stay tight to the saddle. And you actually want a little bit of a swing. So if they do actually hit a tree or something like that going up the trail there's a little give so your animal just doesn't get tipped over tipped off his feet once he hits that real solid object you notice that this is pretty wide on there so you have to take into account what kind of trails you're going up and down and that sort of thing too in the whole process we'll finish that knot off with a lock and then we can come up here and actually we just have a short piece of rope so i'm just going to put it away just something like that that's easy to take apart so all right well we'll pause the video and maybe we'll build another one here in the near future